Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on configuring budgets. So in Acumatica we have a very flexible financial system. The ability to configure budgets in the software and to store those budgets in multiple different ledgers. Now in previous videos we've talked about ledgers and how you can have an entire set of transactions in a separate ledger for the purposes of reporting, for the purposes of forecasting, budgets, and that kind of thing. And we're going to touch upon that when we go to configure our financial report. But to get started, let's go into finance and let's configure our budget. So we're looking at the sales demo right here. And Acumatica lets you configure a tree to configure the budget items that are most important to you. And if you configure row level security, you can actually define which users can get to what areas of the budget and update those budgetary numbers. So if we take a look and we highlight company here, you can see we've created three different tree nodes. And Acumatica makes it easy. So you can say revenue accounts, if they start with four, question mark, question mark, the wild cards are there for the remaining four digits of the chart of accounts. If you use sub accounts, you can also use masks there. If we wanted to create a new node, we can check it right here, configure it here, and then put in the account mask that's important to us. I'll delete that. The other thing you could do here is you can actually add a specific chart of account. Not so practical as we're looking at the parent set of trees. But if we take a look at revenue, for example, and drill down there, what Acumatica did is it preloaded all these accounts starting with the number four and it shows them right here and you have the ability to add specific accounts under this tree node if you'd like to or you can click on preload accounts and take an account range with a certain sub account mask so once we have this configured and we have our budget tree node configured with all of our accounts that we want to define budget numbers for then we can go over to finance and go to budgets. Now what you see here is a financial year and you can go back and look at previous years of budgets and you can come in here, you can make adjustments to it if you want to, if you have the rights and you can configure each period. If I want to configure a brand new year, let's say 2020, What I can do is I can preload articles from previous years. So I can say, all right, we'll take the 2019 budget, for example, and let's take 110% for the account range of revenue. So we'll select our revenue accounts here from this range. And this gives us the ability to update only existing articles, meaning articles that are configured in my budget. Or if from the previous year I have some articles that existed but they don't exist now, I can also do that. But in this case, I'm just going to update existing articles. There may be some chart of accounts I don't want to bring over. And I'll hit finish. So now what you can see is our revenue accounts have come over. And if I drill in, I can see the different revenue budgets line by line and I can make additional adjustments to it. The other thing I can do is put a total amount for the year. So let's say for example this chart of account for sales revenue but this specific sub account I want it to be 1.5 million. I can define that here and then hit the distribute button. I can distribute evenly or I can use it proportionally to the previous year if I'd like to. I can also apply to all articles in this node and if I check that I get the option of applying to sub articles but I only want to apply it in this scenario to this particular line so I'll uncheck this and click OK. And now what Acumatica did is it applied 125,000 for each period across all 12 periods or 13 periods in this case my financial year is configured as 13 periods. 
Once you've completed and you've configured all your different accounts, so we'll preload these articles. Also, this is going to be, we expect us to be a little bit more leaner this year. So we'll take our expense numbers and we'll do the same thing with our operating expenses. And once we're done, we can save this and then release it later. Now, the other thing you could do here is you don't need to be in a tree view. You can uncheck this and see all of your accounts and simply hit the upload button from a file and bring all of your budgetary numbers in. So that's an option too. We can click on manage budget and select an option to roll back to the previously released values. So once you release a budget in Acumatica, you can still make changes to it. By releasing the budget, you give it the ability to be analyzed by your financial reports. You'll see it in your financial reports. However, you have the ability to make changes here and then decide maybe I don't want these and I can roll them back. The other option is you can convert the budget using the current budget configuration. So let's say for example I made a lot of changes here, I removed some accounts and then again I don't like it necessarily I want to go back to my existing budget configuration. I can do that. Now there's a few more features here. If we open up the tree view again and select revenue accounts, we can also compare to a previous year. So we're looking at 2020. Let's say for example I wanted to compare to 2019. What Acumatica does is it gives a second record for compared so you can analyze and see what are the differences. You can also do sub-account filters and tree node filters. If you have a lot of different trees in the system, you may want to filter by a certain wildcard description of them. Now, getting back to ledgers, we talked about ledgers in the beginning. Notice at the top of the screen, this is our ledger, our budget ledger. Now, in Acumatica, if we go back to financials and we go into ledgers, I'll open it up in a different window. You can see in our sales demo we have an actual ledger and that's what's used for live transactions. Live transactions go into this ledger. This is where all your GL transactions are stored. But we also have this budget ledger and that's what we're using when we're configuring our budget. But with Acumatica we have the ability to create another ledger. So we could create a new budget maybe with an optimistic view of things. and we'll select our type. Our type is going to be budget and we could define what companies and branches this is applicable to. And then if we go back here and we choose our optimistic view and we pick a year, we now have a brand new clean slate to configure a new set of budgets. And you can preload the articles from a different ledger such as our regular budget and take an optimistic view and maybe add a multiplier there, use a specific year for this, and you can get yourself started. And as I mentioned before, you can go into any one of these nodes or turn off the tree node and upload your budgets from a spreadsheet. So if you want to use something a little bit more advanced to create your budgets, um, and then maybe pull from an Excel spreadsheet or something, you can upload those budgetary numbers using an Excel spreadsheet. Now we talked about ledgers and ledgers give you the ability to store different numbers, different transaction numbers into different sets of ledgers. So that's why we created the budget optimistic view versus the budget view. and That's why we have an actual ledger as well. Now one of the things that makes Acumatica very powerful is its reporting capabilities. And if we take a look at our report definitions, our financial report definitions in the system, we have the ability to configure these reports and we give you the ability to configure the, your rows, so all the different rows that make up that financial report. But also we give you the ability to configure the columns. So when we take a look at, for example, a period to date budget or a year to date budget, you can see we use a different column set for that. So let's take a look at this particular report. And to get things started, let's preview this report 
and we'll run it for 12 2019 and you can see here is our year to date but this is what we budgeted and I say this is what we budgeted because the budget number is much higher than the actual in this case and we have a percentage here so in Acumatica when we talk about configuring columns for the financial reports this is the one column for the year to date as well as the budget and then we also have a calculation percentage here between the two numbers and of course you have all your account descriptions so if we minimize this and we open up our column set used for this report definition what you can see here is there's our description and there's our two GL types so in Acumatica the type could be either a general ledger a description or a calculation and we have those two there and then we have a calculation as we talked about so this one for example is pretty easy formula it's calculating between B and C columns now at the header we have our year-to-date description our budget year-to-date and our budget percentage but where did these numbers come from if we scroll to the bottom the data source shows you and if we expand on this and open it up you can see we've defined specifically the ledger so it's that easy you basically pick the ledger and that gives you the column data that you want for that particular column and when we go over here to the right to our C column our budget year to date it's essentially taking the budget ledger and they're comparing the same years so the amount type is the ending balance if we wanted period to date we would use turnover but again take a look at our video on financial reports to get much more detail on configuring these so we configured our budgets and then we used our report to compare against it now one other step before we complete we do need to release our budgets so once we're ready any budgets we put in there by account number we have the ability to release those one at a time so you can hit release all as soon as you release these they then get into the ledger permanently and will show up in your financial reports so that's it thanks so much for watching this video on Acumatica's budgets if you have any other questions feel free to reach out to us we'd love to hear from you have a great day